about it. The way we farm, it's a very intensive um, uh, plantation. It's meter by meter. And I think this is one of the things that people, when they come, they say, oh, your vines are so close together and they're, they're pruned low to the ground. Our theory is that we're putting more vines in per hectare, per acre, basically on a one by one, about 10,000 vines per hectare. Okay, and a hectare is easy, it's 100 meters by 100 meters, 10,000 square meters. This is not, I mean, the, the metric system is quite easy in that sense. Um, and the idea is that we have these vines close together and with plowing and whatnot, it forces the roots deeper and we're gonna get more flavors into those grapes. The key to it is you gotta have fewer grapes per vine. So therefore it becomes a labor intensive, um, and, you know, and I go back to the, what we talked earlier about the spraying and all those kinds of things. So we've set up a system that I think works pretty good in Burgundy. Um, and I'm not really answering your question, but I don't think it would work, doesn't work very well anywhere else. Um, um, because we, we just, we, we're in a very, I can't stress enough, it's a tough place to grow grapes. We're about as far north as you can go to get red grapes ripe. Yeah, a little bit in the Moselle sometimes, but remember the Pinot Noir that's grown in, in Champagne is not ripe. They don't want it to be ripe. So we're, we're, at a, we're in a tough place, and so I don't see the, the rules per se um, either. They don't get in the way anymore. Maybe I'm, I'm too used to it. Um, it's funny, some of my French friends said, why are you coming here? Go to California where you can do what you want. And um, I think what happens is because we have this system, you learn to become maybe even a little more creative and become a better winemaker because the options are pretty limited. I mean, um, it, it's not an unlimited color palette. And so I think that's the other thing that makes it interesting. Within the context, we still manage to make pretty good wine um, year in from year out. Um, and I think this is especially true in the last 20 years or so where, um, 20, 30 years, where this new generation has come in and going back to what um, their, our grandfathers did before the Second World War, um, before you know, the, the, the land got denuded with chemicals, with um, uh, nitrogen and potassium and, and herbicides and pesticides. Um, and so I think that's the positive thing. One of the positive things that's happening right now is that um, uh, the wines are continuing to be better, have more flavor, but there'll never be a lot of them because especially now that we're doing more, and I hate to use words sustain, sustainable, it makes me nauseous, that word. We're doing more um, natural farming, basically what the grand, our grandfather said when they put composts on. And I think, I think it, that's all positive. <laughs>